Uh, very good testimony. I thank the panelists, etc. And uh, one of them, in talking about this, was going through the notion that you can't explain why oil, you know, uh, went up eleven dollars a barrel. I think it was um, Herbert who said that. Are the laws of supply and demand suspended? And isn't it the fact that the dark markets have taken over in terms of speculation? The speculation, part and parcel of what's driving the cost of of oil up artificially so that we can't, from a policy perspective, get our arms around this? If, if I could try a quick answer to that, um, the $11 move that we had last week, uh, two of the factors that played into that were, one, a uh, outage on a significant natural gas pipeline in Australia that has raised the demand for distillate fuels in that country to keep their mines open, so the metals mine. funny thing is, my constituents, when I go back home and talk to them, they say, how is it that something happens and then immediately the next day at the, the prices go up in gasoline or in any kind? And yet, when things happen where they say dem demand is less and things are going, the prices stay the same. They don't come down. Are the laws of supply and demand suspended, and are, is the industry at the whim of speculators, especially those that are unregulated and unseen, with the capability of driving the marketplace up artificially? Yes or no? Do you think that that's the case? Is that a problem or not? Yes, I think it's a problem. We're in a Good. bubble. Yes. So in what the about you, Mr. Well, I don't think it's uh, one thing, probably. It's, I think speculation is a part of the problem. Uh, Inc increased demand is part of the problem. Uh, the, the weak right. dollar. Speculation have any role in this? We have a very, very tight market between supply and demand. And to the extent our economy, the Reese dollar, et cetera, are debating that, that should we, if you uh, look should at, we regulate the dark market? If you look at speculation, it's adding volatility to the market, but it would do nothing to turn around and reduce and reverse the price increase. We want the transparency that everybody... We, we want the markets to clear and to function because otherwise it will be even less orderly. And should we, have we look that in the into 70s. the dark markets? Well, what we need to do... Should they be regulated? No. Should they be they are regulated. We need Who? to look at Who regulates the uh, over the counter the market. Commodities futures exchange. No, it doesn't. What we really need to do is think about how much speculation and what kind of speculation it is, and what are the solutions. How can you determine solution, that if they're unregulated? What do you one, think one about that, Mr. Caruso? Might be Excuse me. To have Mr. margin Mr. requirements. Mr. Caruso, that are my higher. time's run. What do you think about that? Should we be regulating these unregulated dark markets? I think we need more information from those markets to be able to understand. How do you get it if they're not regulated? Well, it, they may need to be. And the uh, CFTC, FTC, and Department of Justice uh, meeting tomorrow in their first uh, task force meeting to look at that issue. After more than two and a half years of our pleading that they do so, but it still doesn't answer the question of the dark markets and their ability to be unregulated and to speculate uh, on what's happening and drive these costs up. People in my district call that economic terrorism and something we ought to be making sure that the Justice Department is involved in. And Mr. Larson, if I may, that just, all this stuff's just you know, the reminder that we need to get off of oil. I mean, this stuff is, uh, you know, it's not sustainable the way the, the markets are wor working or where it's located. We just need to wean ourselves off of fossil fuels. I, I agree wholeheartedly, but in the, pro in the meantime, as my grandfather would say, trust everyone but cut the cards. We not only need to cut the cards, we need a new deal here. We also need to think more flexibly about how and when.